ready, may begin. Count your first step as one. It was one of Samuel Hickey's biggest tests. Police reports show Hickey, a Hamilton County Sheriff's Office enforcement officer, ran a red light, hit a car in an intersection, and kept driving. He was arrested for OVI. Sorry. Hey, partner. But the first person who uh, doesn't send through a stops. I'll get you out of here as quick as I can. This was 2015. Hickey pleaded no contest to OVI. Sheriff Jim Neal did not suspend him. Nobody's hurt. Hickey is one of five Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies who have been charged with OVI since Sheriff Neal took office in 2013. One of them was suspended. Four received written reprimands, a low-level disciplinary action that doesn't require unpaid time off. Three deputies have been charged with OVI twice. Let me do your hand. Correction Sergeant Justin Hunt was arrested just a few weeks ago on his second OVI charge within the last three years. His citation shows he was going 78 miles an hour, 23 over the speed limit. Hunt has pleaded not guilty. The sheriff's office has not disciplined him yet. Corrections Officer Walter Brown and Enforcement Officer Donald Four have also been charged twice with OVI. Both were convicted of OVI for their second arrest. Sheriff Neal did not suspend them. In 2015, following Four's OVI conviction, parking lot surveillance cameras videotaped him at the Sheriff's Office in Anderson Township. Records show he was intoxicated, pulled up a parking space bumper, cursed and chest bumped a higher ranking officer. After being ordered to leave, he returned and punched two walls inside the building. An internal affairs investigation found Four's actions could have supported a criminal charge. Four wasn't charged. The sheriff suspended him and Four received treatment for alcohol addiction. Last fall, Four supervisors said his improvement has been remarkable. It's surprising that you found so many cases of employees that have violated the law, especially involving alcohol. Jeff Witte is a 35-year law enforcement veteran, a retired Woodlawn police chief, and a volunteer for Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Witte says when police are arrested for OVI, they should be suspended. This is very concerning to me. The I-team also showed Witte sheriff's records that reveal corrections officer Kenneth Payne drove to work intoxicated twice in 2015. Payne was not charged in those incidents. Payne was suspended for three days for the second incident, placed on administrative leave, and received treatment for alcoholism. After that, records show Payne failed to report for work and blamed a relapse for it. A supervisor called Payne a huge liability, adding that it may be in the best interest of the department to terminate his employment. Instead, the sheriff gave Payne a three-day paper suspension. Seven months after that, records show Payne was intoxicated at work for a third time and was suspended for 10 days. It was difficult to go through and, and look at this. A year ago at Froggy's in Monroe, Deputy Bobby Caldwell told police he was intoxicated, disorderly, and had two knives and that they should arrest him. One officer told Caldwell an arrest would hurt Caldwell's law enforcement career as a Hamilton County deputy. But according to the police report, Caldwell said, it's Hamilton County. I won't get fired. Caldwell was arrested, booked into the Butler County Jail, and pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct. The sheriff did not suspend him. So that about sums it all up, I think. Christine Cole, a nationally recognized criminal justice researcher and consultant, reviewed sheriff's office disciplinary records provided by the I-team. It sends a message that you can do anything you want and nothing bad will happen. During the last two months, the I-team made six attempts to get an interview with Sheriff Neal, providing specific cases and even questions. He declined and issued a brief statement, saying, that he takes discipline seriously and believes the sheriff's office reaches the appropriate level of discipline. Why don't you sit down and talk to us about the way you discipline officers? You've been provided with the comment. On Monday, we made one more attempt to interview the sheriff after he met with the Hamilton County Commission. Sheriff, you have two officers who have been charged with OVI twice. You refuse to suspend them. Why? 
You've been provided with a comment. We followed Sheriff Neal down five flights of stairs. You've been provided with a comment. And out the door. Sheriff, why don't you sit down and talk to us about these decisions that you've made, why you made them, and why you think this was in the best interest of uh, not only the sheriff's office, but people in Hamilton County. Why won't you do that? I provided you with a comment on the matter. It's really hard for the community to trust the police if the police can't even trust the system in which they work to be, to be consistent and just and have integrity. And it, it seems to me that there's a lack of that in this agency. I provided you with the comment. But Sheriff Neal was consistent with his response to our questions. I provided you with the comment. He gave the same answer 16 times in a row. Sheriff, are you going to say anything today other than you provided me with a comment? I did. I provided you with the comment.